In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the difference between single and double quotation marks in PHP. So let's go into our editor here. Some people wonder what the difference is or why you would use single or double. So we're going to take a look. So let's say we have a variable and our variable is called name. Uh, now we'll assign the value of John to this variable. OK, we're going to use double quotation marks here, but we could use single if we wanted to. Uh, but we're going to look in a bit more detail why we would use each way now. So let's say, for instance, we want to display John's name. So we use an echo statement and we'll say echo uh, name. OK, now, of course, when we display it on the screen, we go file, save. I've saved this as quotes.php. If we now view that, we should just see the name John. OK, simple basic PHP use an echo statement. Now let's say we want to put a bit more text in there. So we want to say echo my name is and then we want to say John. Okay so we can just directly within our double quotes here we can write the variable. Close off our double quotes and our semicolon on the end. And what we should see, we save that page, flick over to our browser, my name is John. Now some people do prefer to write it in this fashion where you close off your quote and then you use the joining statement and you put name on the end. Okay, so we should see exactly the same thing here. Refresh the page and resave. But of course with double quotes, what we can do is we can put the variable name directly within the double quotes. Okay, so that's why we'd use double quotes because the actual value is being treated what they call, well it's being interpreted, it's not being treated literally. If we were to use single quotes, it would be treated literally. So let me just show you here. I'm going to comment out this line here, make a copy, but instead of using uh, double quotes, I'm going to use single quotes. So it's exactly the same as the line we had above, but we've got single quotes at the start and single quote at the end. So same command, echo my name is name, so we should be pulling in the variable. But of course, if I save that page, click over to our browser and refresh and we actually see my name is and then we have the name of the variable and that's because with single quotes it treats the value literally whereas the values placed inside double quotations are interpreted okay so that's where you might want to use them uh, a single quote or a double quote now I always tend to use double quotes myself because there are times when I want to put the variable directly within the line and like I say some people would break out of the double quotes and they would just use a bit of concatenation there and add that onto the end but I just think it looks a bit neater if it is directly in there okay and you can obviously build this up so if, for example instead of having a name if we had first name equals John and then we create another variable last name equals Smith so we've got two variables you could say my name is John uh, we need to change that to first name so my name is first name, space, and last name. So we should see my name is John Smith. And I'm just going to put a full stop on the end there as well. So let's save that. And there we go. My name is John Smith. Like I say, in comparison to putting single quotes in, where the information is treated literally. And so we see the two variable names. So that's the difference between single and double quotation marks. Double interprets data and single treats data literally. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that.